Hey guys, it's EJ from iDesign.com with a quick tip. I'm going to be showing you how you can use effectors to drive the transparency of your objects. Uh, in this case, I'm going to show you how you can use an effectors fall off to fade on text. So first things first, uh, we're actually going to use a uh, plane effector because uh, we just need to affect it linearly. And we're going to change the fall off to linear change the orientation to positive x and so we have our effector as it passes through affecting that text uh, from left to right letter by letter uh, we actually don't need to change the position data uh, but what we do need to do is make it so this plane effector is driving the uh, grayscale value uh, and applying a grayscale value of 100% uh, white to 0% white or black uh, to be used as a mat. So we're going to use uh, black and white values to adjust the opacity so we can use the alpha channel of uh, a material and apply that to this Motex object. So how are we going to get this plane effector to apply grayscale values for a mat? Uh, how are you going to actually do that? If you go to this color uh, color option change the color mode to on you can see right when I do that it changes uh, whatever has been affected by the uh, plane effectors fall off changes to 100% white so we got the 100% the white value but we still have this gray value and the gray value is not going to work because if we want it to be 0% uh, opacity or black going to full on opacity or white we need this to be black and the way you do that, if you go into your Motex object, go to your letters, you can see this color value down here of the letters is that gray. We need to change that gray value, 80% uh, gray value, to black. And once I do that, you can see we have what we right what we want when we're going to work with the uh, mat is once the you're going to have this black value 0% opacity and when the effector comes through it's going to apply that white which is going to change the opacity to 100%. So, how do we get that value to affect the alpha channel? We're going to make it a material. We're going to go into our alpha. Let's change the color first to say an orange and go into the alpha turn it on. So we need to pump in the date, the grayscale value that's being applied by the plane effector to the text. We need to have that value be pumped in the alpha channel of this material. Uh, the way we do that is if you go to your MoGraph channel or MoGraph option, go to color shader, choose that. If you go into this option, the channel's set to color, which is what we want. So this is going to tell, uh, this is going to pull the the MoGraph color that's being applied by the plane effector, that grayscale value, and is going to pump it through that alpha. So now once we change, well, once we apply this material to the Motex object, we're getting exactly what we want. <clears throat> Those black and white grayscale values are being used to drive the alpha channel uh, uh, in, in the material. So if I render this out, you can see that it's, it's a uh, fading the text on. It's exactly what we want. So it's it's pretty fairly simple. You just have to understand what a color shader does by pulling that grayscale value from the uh, plane effector and making that apply to the alpha channel here. And you have to make sure that you change that default color in here to black because if we have it at that gray as it was by default this effect falls apart. You need that to be black so you have that 0% opacity. So once you once you got that down, you're, you're good to go. Uh, so say you, you want this to actually fade off. It's as easy as it's going into your plane effectors fall off and just inverting it. So you can have <clears throat> you can have this uh, text fade off letter by letter. And you can also invert the orientation so you can have it fade off from left to right as well. 
So pretty easy concept. Uh, again, you can use this for cloner objects as well. But the one got you is the same uh, as the the Motex object, where you have to go and make sure that cloner object's default color is from that gray and set it to black. So then you have uh, you have that matte working fine, and that's all there is to it. So thanks.